Hello, in this demo we will see how to bind the departments to the drop down list and how to cascade a drop down list to the grid view. Anyway, we saw these things by directly configuring the data source to the SQL server. But now we will see all these things by writing ADO.NET code. So I have my drop down list. TDL department and grid view employee. First of all, let me populate drop down list with all the department names as item and values as ID. So the selected item would be department name and selected value would be ID. So how do I do that? I'll just go to the code. In page load, I need to write the code. Now I'll simply copy the code that I did in my last video or in my earlier video and I'll paste it here. Definitely I need to have these three namespaces. Now this is my database organization DB and I have department table and employee table. What is it I want? I want to display all the departments in the drop down list. So what is it I do? I repeat the same code, select the star from table after reading the data from the data reader. Instead of me assigning these things to grid view, I need to assign this to the drop down list. I will say DDL drop down list department dot data source equals to dr and ddl dot data text field data text field is equals to d name and ddl department dot data value field equals to did so as we were setting data key names in grid view here i need to set data text field will be department name data value field will be department id and then i will say drop down list department dot data bind and I'll close the connection. Again I need to write this in my initial postback. So I'll write if not is postback in my initial page load I need to write this. So I have written this in my if not is postback condition. I'll set this as startup page and execute this. Now this should populate my drop down list with all the departments. So here I got the drop down list with all the departments with me. Now what I want is whenever I select a department, this grid view should display all the employees. So what is that I should do? First of all, I need to go to the drop down list i'll say enable auto post back and i'll double click the drop down list in the selected index change event i need to write the code so i need to write the same code i'll simply copy this i'll paste it here now instead of select star from table department, I will say select star from table employee where I want to display only those employees whose department ID I am getting from the drop down list where department ID equals to at DID and here I will say cmd dot 
parameters dot add with value and my parameter is at did and its value is drop down list department dot selected value dot to string that's it now my data reader source i'll give it to grid view so my grid view is grd grid view employee dot data source equals to dr grid view employee dot data key names equals to i can give same primary key of employee table the primary key of employee table is emp id actually it should be an array of string so i'll say new string array finally i'll say grid view employee dot data bind that's it it should work execute this now I'll select a department qt so my grid view got filled with employees of department qt if i select development i got the employees of development if i select admin i got the employees of admin so my drop down list cascadeation with grid view by writing adu dot net code is done but i'll enhance it a little in drop down list i want the default item select how do i do that i'll go to the drop down list edit item add i'll write select and the value is 0 i'll say okay and in property i need to set one more value that is append data bound items equals to true save this and execute it so this is very simple i got select and all my departments so i'll select development i got the employees of development if i come back to select there is no employee now admin i got employees of admin so that's it this is very simple i haven't configured my grid view or drop down list directly with the help of smart tag instead what is it i have done i have coded everything with the help of adu.net coding so i hope you might have understood this Thank you very much.